Chronic fatigue syndrome is another one of the symptoms that women complain a lot about and we can say that it's a newer disease but it is something that women have experienced through history and uh, we don't have the energy. The body is not functioning the way it's supposed to be and it is a real serious symptom or disease actually and we need to address it and work with it and with using natural functional products we can address chronic fatigue syndrome and get the energy level back up to the uh, previous level. Uh, swollen uh, joints and we have all experienced this, those of you who are older than 50 years old I would say both for men and women, we all get our joints not exactly the way they used to be. We get pain in the knees, in the elbows, in the neck, in the back. So every time you turn around, some part of the body is getting out of the joint and the position. And that is again a major problem. And especially for women with menopause, with the water retention, joints get even more swollen because they would have uh, a lot of liquid as well in the swollen joints. And then we get to the bone mass and osteoporosis and losing our bone mass. We are all very familiar with osteoporosis. Again, estrogen is a steroid hormone and it helps with uh, inflammation. And as long as we reduce inflammation in the body, the bones are healthier. healthier. Men uh, lose their bone mass because of uh, reduced androgens and reduced testosterone. And it's a major issue and we need to address it because when we lose uh, our bone and the joints are uh, practically disappearing, the cartilage is reduced we will shrink, we will get shorter as we age. I don't want to get any shorter than what I am right now, but we can see that older women and older men get shorter as we age and then we lose the bone and we get bent and we have pain and the neck is not working and we get that bent format. And especially with older women, if we look historically, they were all bent and older men were bent as well and we cannot accept that. We want to maintain the body po posture and maintain the bones very healthy. And for that we use DHEA which increases uh, the testosterone in the female body and also in the male body. It helps with sexual function, it helps with maintaining the bone mass and the muscle mass. We talked about osteopenia and osteoporosis and we will talk about hair loss. Men usually use their, lose their hair with a male pattern baldness which is due to DHT, dehydrotestosterone, which burns the follicles of the hairs and it's genetic in men and it's excellent, it comes from the mother's side of the family. Women do not lose their hair when they're younger, but after menopause, women start losing their hair on the top of the scalp. Excuse me, that is five minutes or 10 minutes? Sorry, okay, I'll go a little faster. Uh, hair loss is a symptom for women, brittle nails is very important and then we know that as we age we lose our teeth because of osteoporosis and not good nutrition and not good health. Uh, the gums become swollen and sometimes bleeding because of circulation problems and we lose our muscles. We need our muscles to move the bones and if we have strong bones and we don't have good muscles, again there will be a problem with moving around, with exercising 
and we want to make sure that we maintain a very strong, healthy muscle mass after menopause. And as we get older, we do have a problem with the soft muscles and incontinence is another problem that older women experience with uh, not having control over maintaining the urine and sometimes when they sneeze or laugh or talk, uh, they uh, lose the urine a little bit. And then some very strange symptoms that I came about when I was talking to women, sensation of a burning tongue, sensation of itchy skin that there is constantly, the skin is itching and there are electric shocks that go through the body and these are symptoms that are all related to low estrogen and low uh, hormone levels and tingling of hands and feet when we don't move we feel like our hands and feet are sleeping and we need to start moving them around and increase the circulation, respiratory allergies, and carpal tunnel syndrome, which is again a retention of water in the joints, and high cholesterol that other speakers talked about, uh, increase of the fat in the body and in circulation. And with maintaining high serotonin and maintaining uh, the levels of uh, estrogen with natural soy isoflavones that I'm sure you're familiar with. And also another sign of aging is glycation. What I would recommend is an A1C test, a laboratory test, which shows its hemoglobin A1C, shows the average blood sugar for the last 120 days because the sugar binds to the red blood cell and the life for the red blood cell is 120 days. So if you do an A1C and your A1C result is 5.6, you can be sure that you're not pre-diabetic and that your body is not glycating. Glycation, uh, you might have heard of age, advanced glycated age products accumulate in our body and our brain, causes Alzheimer's, causes the tau proteins, and as our proteins get more glycated, they cannot function properly. So we need to watch the blood sugar, and A1C is a very good indication. It shows the average blood sugar level for the past 120 days. Rapid heartbeats is another one of the symptoms. Dizziness, uh, indigestion, and that happens to all of us. As we age, we're not digesting the food we eat properly and we do have natural enzymes uh, to help with the digestion and to help with what we eat because we eat a good food and we want to absorb it and maintain it in the body and use it to help us. One of the problems with aging both for men and women is food allergies. We were all used to eating shrimp for example but then uh, suddenly after a certain age if we eat shrimp we develop an allergy and this is because of a leaky gut because the gut gets porous and a tiny piece of shrimp will go in the circulation and the blood would react to it and we would like to maintain our guts healthy as well we have uh, allergy to the sun Allergy, and one of the other problems with aging and especially aging women is that they have difficulty expressing themselves. They won't talk. They become very quiet and very silent and then sometimes the body odor, uh, odor changes and uh, women may have uh, not such a pleasant odor in the body. What I would like to take this last uh, five minutes and talk about is a little bit about the products that we have at the Anti-Aging Institute of California. It's very easy. The products are 100% natural. I'm sure a lot of it is similar to the Chinese medicine and uh, Ayurvedic medicine 
and I've used some of the old Persian medicine to compose this with the uh, knowledge of pharmacology and the endocrinology of the body. Uh, I have put products together. Women in China and uh, Asia, they uh, eat a lot of soy and tofu. The problem with uh, not converting the tofu to the soy isoflavone is sometimes that the bacteria in the gut are not effective. If we have lactobacillus, we can uh, digest the soy isoflavones in the tofu and in the natural soy and get a better equal, which is a non-steroid estrogen that we generate in the body. So we're helping our bodies to work uh, with the food we eat and providing it with natural enzymes and natural substances to make it function like when we were younger and uh, we had the hormones that were working both for men and uh, for women. One of the other subjects that is difficult especially for men to talk about is erectile dysfunction and that is due to circulation. And as we age and with accumulation of cholesterol in the arteries, the circulation is not as uh, functioning as it used to be in younger men. And we do have products with L-arginine, L-citrulline that create nitric oxide. They improve the circulation and improve the sexual function for men. The products are FDA approved in the United States. FDA approves pharmaceutical products to be sold uh, with prescription and in the pharmacies. But FDA, being Food and Drug Administration, also approves the food, the functional food, and uh, we do have certificates that we can provide to you, and we sell the products in the United States and all over the world. Anti-Aging Institute is in Beverly Hills. We are two blocks away from Rodeo Drive. I would invite you all, if you come to Beverly Hills, to visit us. And if you would like to go to the website, the website is beforeyouage.com. We have over 40 products. They are 100% natural, and they work for prevention, postponing, and reversing the signs and symptoms of aging. I thank you very much for your patience and listening to all of these, and we'll be happy to answer any questions during the break, or if you would like additional time, I'll be happy to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.